Hello, this is Somatra and today we will have a look at what is known as hanging man in candlestick charts. Before we jump into the discussions, subscribe for the channel and press the bell icon so that you get notifications whenever there is a new video. The Hanging Man Hanging man has a very long lower shadow, a small real body which can be white or black, near the upper end of the trading range and little or no upper shadow. This is the same shape as the hammer line which I discussed in the previous video. However, as expressed in the Japanese literature, if it appears from below, buy, and if appears from above, sell. This phrase means that the same shape line can be bullish or bearish, depending on where it appears in a trend. If this line appears from below, that is, during a decline, it is a bullish hammer. However, if this same shape line appears from above, that is, during an uptrend, it is a sell signal and is referred to as a hanging man line. Thus, the hanging man line is a top reversal signal that must arrive during a rally, while the hammer is a bottom reversal line that must appear during a decline. The same line can be bullish or bearish, depending on the trend preceding it. In this context, it is interesting that the Japanese have two words for rice. They call it either reis or gohan. Raisu is the Japanese term for rice when it is prepared Western style. The term reis even sounds like the Western word rice. Gohan also means rice, but it is rice prepared Japanese style. In other words, the Japanese refer to the exact same product, rice by different names. What surrounds the rice determines whether the rice is referred to as raisu or gohan. So it is with the hammer and hanging man. Whether the candle line is a bullish pattern, the hammer or a bearish pattern, the hanging man, is dependent on what precedes the line. With the hanging man's long lower shadow reflecting buying interest, it may seem that the hanging man is a bullish signal. However, the hangman's action shows that once the market has fallen, it has become very fragile. The small real body of the hanging man also shows that the prior uptrend may be in the process of changing. Because of the bullish action of the hanging man session, during the session the market sells off and then rallies by the close. An important aspect of the hanging man lines is that there should be bearish confirmation. A common method of bearish confirmation of a hangman is to wait to see if the next session's close is under the hanging man's real body. The reason for the importance of this confirmation has to do with the fact that the hanging man's long lower shadow shows that there is still rising power left in the market. However, if prices fall under the hanging man's real body, it translates into the fact that everyone who bought at the open or close of the hanging man session is now losing money. In such a scenario, these longs may decide to liquidate, and by doing so, may endanger a further weakening of prices. It is important to wait for confirmation for each and every pattern. Early entries before confirmation is a sign of impatience and impatience can be harmful for our trades. If after the appearance of an hanging man, the market actually move above the high of the hanging man, it is an bullish sign. The market is trying to tell us that the bulls still have steam left in them or it can also be termed that the bulls are much stronger than the bears. The bears are not able to take advantage of the hanging man. When an hanging man appears after a rally, the high of the hanging man becomes a resistance. If there is an correction or fall after the hanging man, the high will always act as resistance. There is a basic Western technical concept that states that a penetrated resistance area should then be converted to support and a broken support area should be resistance. The concept can also be termed as the change of polarity principle as per Steve Nissen. 
The change of polarity is a very useful tool, especially when combines with candlestick patterns. You should find that the more often a support or resistance area is tested before prices break them, the better the change of polarity principle should work. Thanks for watching.